Cheat meals are often a dieter's way to indulge without feeling overall guilt, but it's different strokes for different folks when it comes to what you eat to cheat. Take a look at this video of Hathor Bjorsson, who plays the mountain from Game of Thrones, devouring 17,000 calories on his cheat day. Over 10 hours, the mountain and his friends, they ate beef, rice, pancakes, burgers, fries, chocolate oh, milkshakes, wow. large pizzas, bread, and a dozen donuts. I'm full just thinking about it. Did you say he's eating a box of donuts? Well, so apparently he traditionally or typically eats 10,000 calories a day. On a regular day. On a regular day because he has to train for strongman competitions. And, and I'm sure and those meals. this is his cheat day, yes. Are, and he's uh, huge. And, and between well, the three Well, he's the strongest of, man yeah, in the world. He's the mountain. But he is the mountain. Between the three of them, they were trying to consume 50,000 calories. All right, I want to ask you to your personal opinions on the concept of cheat day versus cheat meal because some people will have one day a week where it's their cheat day. Some people will have that one meal. It's a cheat meal. Thoughts? Because it's different. No, I, different you, you definitely need to do it. If you're trying to be good at times, you have to give in a little bit. For me, what works, a cheat meal works. I don't need a whole cheat day. That if you cheat and you cheat, you know, moderately hard. So if you want big, big breakfast, then the rest of the day you might just go a little go bit healthier. A little so yeah. yes, if I'm you not gonna, this for especially if you're you watching what you're eating, the... then then you, you know you've sort of curbed your appetite portions. You don't want to eat more than one big meal. So that yeah. works for and, me. And I completely agree with you. I think a cheat meal still gives you something to look forward to. But when you do a whole cheat day, I feel like that's just like binge eating. Like you're just going to feel awful and gross the next day. It's like, day. see it's like much. how much I can eat in a day. Yeah. It's like I'm going to have the donuts in the morning and then the burger and fries at lunch and a, <laughs> and a whole pie at dinner. <laughs> I don't think so. I like this idea, though, that if you do have your cheat meal first, then each successive meal is a little bit smaller. I mean, I think that's a nice way to atone for that cheat I think one of the advantages of the occasional cheat meal is it also reminds you of how terrible you feel after it, right? If you, yeah. let's, let's call a spade a spade. You eat a box of donuts afterwards, as good as it tastes afterwards, you do, you feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's why I've been eating healthier. <laughs> so you, you have to figure out what works for you. If it's a cheat meal, it's a cheat day, that's great. But just know that if you're on a diet where every meal feels like you're just depriving yourself, you're ultimately not going to survive well, long term I mean, on that's that. That's not a bad breakfast. You just have to get rid of the French toast. And maybe the throw, bacon. Throw the butter on. <laughs> well, if you're going keto. Drew, I, don't, I don't know that. You, this, this is a bit of, it's not a ton of calories like the mountain, but I don't know that you're going to call, call this a... Uh, a healthy breakfast, yeah. really. Did I say it's healthy? You, well, I don't know I what said, you said. You said well, it's I said it's not that bad calorie-wise. Get rid of the, I mean, it's, it's keto. All right. right, well, Drew's going to eat this the rest <laughs> of the show, and we're, we're going to see how he feels. <laughs>